on a different subject tonight, most of us will agree getting junked cars off our streets and out of our neighborhoods is a good idea. But in East Feliciana Parish, a business that does just that has some residents up in arms. Environmental reporter Marvin McGraw explains. Stormy! Come on, sport. When Alice Muse left the city for the country life eight years ago, she did so to get away from it all. It's a beautiful place to live, and I would just like to keep it this way. But Muse and some other residents who live just outside the town of Clinton are worried their quality of life is being threatened. Usually about this time of the year you smell the hay because they just finished cutting the hay, and about now you smell oil and gas. Really a smell which they claim is coming from here, the corner of Highway 957 and Battle Road, where junk cars have been piling up. They're part of a recycling operation, which crushes the old cars and ships them away to be scrapped. Residents worry that fluids from these old cars, things like oil, gasoline, brake fluid, and other things, are contaminating the ground and seeping into their water supply. We leave the fluids in, pull the engines out, and they're set up just like they are right here. Charles Barnes owns the property. He claims most of the harmful fluids are removed from the cars before they're disposed of. You got mostly red clay right here. It doesn't sink in that much. Barnes says the work they do here is legal and has been approved by the DEQ. He expects crushing operations to resume here shortly, but some who live here wonder at what price. I have nothing against him making a living. I just want to make sure that it doesn't cause future problems. Problems which Muse hopes won't one day change a way of life. I'm Arvin McGraw, Channel 2 Eyewitness News. Let's add, a spokesperson for DEQ's Water Quality Division told us late today they checked the site again and found no environmental problems.